Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create sub-queries in Microsoft Access 2016. In our previous video, we have already learned how to create a query and how to run that query. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a query in such a way that it will be a field in another query or it will be a criteria in the query fields. Sometimes what happened, we use this particular field criterion for such a result that where I want to restrict a particular data or where I want to limit the field values. We'll get a better understanding of it, why we create subqueries and how to create a relationship between them in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to create subqueries in Microsoft Access 2016. So in order to do that, I need to go to the Create tab and under the Queries group, I will select Query Design. Alright, so now it is asking me which table you like to pull up. So I said like the customers table and I will select the orders table. I'll simply select close. Now I have the orders table. I have the customer table. Now I'll just expand a bit. Alright, so now if you can see from the customer table, I have all these field lists. Let's say that I want the first name, the last name and I would like to see the pickup dates of that customer. So I have designed a basic query. So out here I can see the first name, last name and the respective pickup dates. All right to pick up their orders. So I will simply go and run this query and see what happens. So if I run this query, you can see all the customers out here, right? You can see all the customers I have 208 customers you can see all these customers and if you have noticed that some of the entries out here are repeated so clo has a pickup date on 12th and he she has a pickup date on 27th as well so if you can see some of the entries are repetitive so i do not like to see this repetitive uh, entries i would like to see the count basically i what i'd like to do i'd like to see the count that how many orders that uh, clo has given and similarly if you go down how many orders Zoe has given so this is what I'd like to count and I would create a sub query for the same so in order to do that I will go under the design tab again uh, now this time under the design tab I will go to the design tab and I'll select the total parameter all right so now out here you can see I have this total group so under the pickup date if I go under the group by drop down menu this time I will select count because I want to know the number of count that the particular customers has given. All right. So let's go ahead and run this query and let's see whether it gives us a better understanding of the table. So if I select run now, if you can see, I have uh, 198 records only and this time it will be uh, all unique records. And if you can see that if I go down, if you go down, if I search for clo. Yes, Clo has placed an order two times. That's what we have seen. And similarly for Zoe. So if I go down a bit, so you can find Zoe as well. And you can see that Zoe has placed an order for twice. So this is how you can run a sub query in Microsoft Access 2016.